Damn. We're back, back at it. Back with another freaking video, man. Let's, Let's go. go. Like a toenail. Ooh, 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 ooh. My mouth is getting better, y'all. It's like almost there. Yeah. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Can't wait. Let's go. Hey, so listen. I saw this, man. This is about this. So social justice warriors and Black Lives Matter getting owned. So it's a compilation. Feminist. Feminist. Social justice. Feminist warriors. social justice Let's warriors. Go. I'm interested. They ain't getting owned. So maybe somebody is letting them. Somebody getting. Letting them have it. Somebody getting busted. Somebody is coming with some solid facts and facts and facts. Let's see. How can you argue that racism is not a driving factor in income inequality? Because it has nothing to do with race and everything to do with culture. And when you have a culture that doesn't... And when... And when it, you know what? Explain to me. You explain to me why black kids aren't graduating high school. Oh. Explain that one to me. Oh. Explain to me why black kids are shooting each other in rates significantly higher oh. than whites okay. are shooting each other. Explain to me why 13%... I get the feeling all that laughter is just going to go down to kind of like stone face. Let's see population is responsible for 50% of the murder. Explain to me why the, why the number of blacks and black kids in prison, not for innocent reasons, not for walking down the street and getting pulled into a prison, is so high. Explain If it has nothing to do with culture, explain to me why the single motherhood rate in the black community jumped from 20% to 70% in the same course of time <laughs> has made such tremendous strides. Is America more racist now than it was in 1960? And if it is, please explain to me how that happened. Mm. Right. Exactly. All facts. Anybody well, can jump in. It's, a, it's <laughs> an open mic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here, just in the media. Pause it. So what you do, <laughs> what you would do if a person objects to his statistics, then you need to have some statistics and facts of your own to counter what he just said. But see, they had nothing but fluff, talk, emotion, what the they emotions. heard from Auntie Grandma and Cousin Friend. <laughs> and them smiles and all that rhetoric they had. They were like, oh, look, he's crazy. And, Soon then, and then, as soon as he can, hey, had, this is how the face was. Fat. Exactly. Fat. fat right. Fat. Yeah. Surely, shortly turned around to like, mm, I don't have nothing to back. I can't back. I don't have nothing to corroborate what I'm thinking and saying over here. Exactly. Please, people. Michelle, what do you what do you people want? What do I want? Michelle, when you say you people, what do you mean? The complaining black people <laughs> uh, blaming others for the failure of their parents and their lives. What the uh, blaming what others mean? for whatever it is you complain about. What is it exactly do you want from white people? First of all, I'm just gonna take a breath. And I'm trying to find out I what want, you want. What's your nationality? American. Are you white? I'm black American. Oh, okay. What do you want? <laughs> right. Oh, you do? And why, why do you think that? Why do you um, think that? Uh, because you seem to separate yourself from, from yeah. us, should I say. In Put us way? on the other side In what of way? the fence. Um, in the ways that you've specified uh, thus far. Meaning what? Tell me, give me an example and tell me what you mean. You how you mean, how do, us, what do you people, people want from white people? Meaning people that I'm not with yourself. you. Oh, okay, it's I got just y'all by yourself, let right? Me, let me explain why I do that. What you don't know is that there are two realities in life. Mm -hmm. One is that of good and one is that of evil. And now that I've been able to overcome evil, I don't identify with angry, evil black people. I identify with other uh, blacks and others who are on the side of good. And so that's why I say you people, because I have to divide myself or separate myself from evil and go along with good. So that's why I do that. What and is it that makes us evil? I'm sorry, your anger, your blaming others for your problems, your lack of love and respect for yourself and others. Okay. Mm. Right! <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Unbelievable, astonishing sexism. 
Mm. We have to teach teach yeah. young boys not to be boys so they won't be violent. Why is being yeah. violent being... Get out. Get out. Why? Why? I'm sorry. Like, gender, we, we teach boys and girls that they're, that they're um, the same and that's a, uh, that's a problem. They are mm. different. When we, do, when we do experiments on young babies and um, e even on re related animals, we know yeah, that certain that children go to certain true. toys. Boys and girls are different. To give you some context for all of this, um, you have to understand a little bit about the history of feminism. Um, there have been two main strands. And here is our location. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, of course, I've, because of course men aren't allowed to speak about anything that isn't to do well, with men. Except no one's really said. interested in. <laughs> We talk about separate but equal, but, you know, having even mentioned the Floyd Mayweather fight, they walked away with, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars at stake. You being at the, at the height of your sport, maybe make, what, a, a million dollars at most per fight? Does that anger you, and what can we do to change that? Uh, I don't like to talk about exactly how much money I make, but I'm extremely comfortable and happy. You are? Yes. Okay, so... And, uh, you know... If I got to a point where I had almost 50 fights, I would probably be making close to the same amount of money that Floyd does. And no, I, I'm a feminist because I believe in equality for men and for women and men and for all genders. So women and men. No, all genders. There's no, so women and men. There's there women. Are two genders biologically. I'm sorry. No, there isn't. There's yeah. you're 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 not now now you're now you're totally excluding you know transgender, non-binary, you know gender fluid people and yeah these. I mean, you can live in your okay, unicorn I'm, I'm world. Going to assume that you're you're a cisgender straight woman because uh, you obviously. You I mean, are, that's you, really true. and like, that you, that you and that you probably. That. And that I you actually probably haven't ever been raped. Either. I actually identify so as an attack like, helicopter, so, me, so it's really offensive. Like you're <laughs> 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 she said an attack helicopter. <laughs> oh biologically, biologically, you're either going to be born a man or a woman. Right. Born to a woman. And a woman is going to have either A or B. That's right. Period. Period. Science ain't going to change that. Period. Because they can't. Period. They don't have any control over what God creates. That's right. So, and that's what the girl is trying, is, is saying. Yeah. And that's why she said, biologically, no ma'am, you either A or B. That's right. From a very privileged point of view here. Very privileged. Yes. I, w I would like you to use my pronouns if you could. They are I, me, and my. So now you're mocking. So now you're mocking the LGBTQ community now. I have lots of LGBTQ friends, and they don't get professionally offended at everything. Just because you have LGB LGBTQ friends doesn't mean that you're not homophobic or biphobic or transphobic. That's like me saying, oh, I have black friends, so I'm not racist. My LGBTQ friends are usually male and female and not some unicorn gender that's been made up. That's so hateful. You're that's just like erasing. Yeah. Construct. Gender is a social construct, right? And I don't have boobs. That's just a social construct. Oh, and penises don't exist, right? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. They, there, there are, there's male and there's female. There are two biological genders. Science exists. I'm sorry to tell you all that science exists, but it does. There is biology. There is science. I mean, you can live in your in your magical made-up world with trigger warnings. Friends, who are you talking right now? Because I can they'll come out of the woodworks and defend me, guaranteed. Because I've got lots of friends. That, that's great. And you know what? I'm finding a lot of what you're saying extremely offensive. Oh, get over it. I'm sure. Get over it. That's how you know, stuff is like, now. You, you just got people power and, with that. You want to live in the bubble and, and believe a lie. Yeah. No, she's giving you facts. Facts. How do we, de how do we derive facts? Based up our senses, there's a research that how does we get from our facts? See, such, taste, feel, hear. You know, these are how we derive facts. People do the research. So the, these are the facts. Yep. <laughs> Talk about fluff. Anything else, give me the facts. I'm a fact person all day. And if you don't have any facts, shut up and sit down. Let's go. Yeah, I know a lot of loud, and I'm, I mean, yeah. science probably disagrees with you. Right. right. Those people's experiences right. and transgender people, that's so important to their lives and their identity and their happiness and their well-being and their health. How can you, how can you say, no, how can you deny the existence of, yeah, these people's identities and their need to have that that well-being? They can do whatever they want. Right. That doesn't mean science or myself have to 
agree with you believing you are a gender, you believing you are right. You believe in you're a demi girl or some non-existent gender that's <laughs> right. made up. It's non-existent. It's incredibly important to them. It's the, okay. you know what else is important? Science, facts, and biology. Those are also very important to the advancement of the human race, Amen. to treating people's diseases, Science, to reproduction. That's right. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. The vast majority of people who are stopped in prison are black and Hispanic. That's because the vast majority of people in New York City who, are, who actually commit gun crimes are black and Hispanic. I'm sorry, I can't do anything about that. statistical impressions. How many statistical impressions do we have to run? That's not true. Look, and, and yes, that is 96% of all gun sales in June, January to June 2008, 95% of all gun assailants in the city of New York are black and Hispanic. Guys, again, how many multiple, how many regressions do we have to run? Uh, black and Latino folks are overrepresented in being pulled over, in being set, in being tried, in being sentenced, in being incarcerated again and again and again and again and again. That's all stuff. You don't believe that. No, I mean, you, this know, you know why? But, you know, the reason I don't believe that is because let's take a scare. No, let's take some meetings. Let's agree on facts. Let's tell you we have democracy when we can't write it. Because you don't care about them, I do. So, that's it. so it is not anybody's fault. That 50 that 50 percent of the murders in this country are committed by young black men. It's not the fault of people who are putting them in prison that those people happen to be black. It's not the fault of the New Jersey Turnpike Police that they're pulling over 23 percent black men when they did a statistical analysis and found that 25 percent of the people speeding were black. Okay, again, since since 1994, in the 75 largest cities in America, when they when they analyzed whether there was overrepresentation in in crimes that were reported, not just crimes that were charged, crimes that were reported versus the prison population, they found that blacks and Hispanics were statistically underrepresented. The biggest problem for blacks and Hispanics living in the inner city is that there aren't enough police officers there to actually take care of them and police the crime and make their city safe for investment and education. <laughs> So I'm gonna say I couldn't get a lot of yeah, the understanding. Not, it was too, it was too choppy. Yeah, and it was a lot of static in the background. I it was would like, like to hear some of the uh, um, more offensive crimes. Yeah, I would like to have heard more. Some of the some of the statistical facts, but I understand where she was going about how they're disproportionately represented. You know, no, that's not, true. Yeah, they don't. So it makes his statistics sound right because if that's what they're reporting in comparison to. Uh, white males and Hispanic males or other males of, you know, national uh, or whatever their or the, their origin is, it's going to appear that it's more uh, black uh, men in jail for this particular crime or at this particular age, if that's what they're reporting in compared to what they don't report and say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So really doing the research, you would need to find out how many African, I mean, you know, white men at a certain age group are being pulled over, which is not as many, but they still get pulled over. I just don't know what the percentage is. Good question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Research, research. Yeah. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't That's take good. a nose dive, but comment in the section below. You leave a comment, we'll give you some more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It was. <laughs>